Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are old yet, thanks. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So today I'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer using Adobe Photoshop. So before any further I do, I get started. What you are going to do now, then you go to your test document and I'm going to copy this color code here. And proceed to copy and go to your solid color and um, your gradient color i mean then while you paste then copy the second color code then go back to your color here then you paste then now then i'm going to rotate it then you can see the number here then you click on ok so as you can see now here are the fonts I'm going to use, Josephine Bebas Leo and uh, Gracia Indifference. So these are the fonts I'm going to use. Then I'm going to paste the name here. I'm going to change the font here to Josephine. Then make it bold. Then I'll bring it over here. Cut it. That is breaking it. Then increase the font size. Then bring it to the center and rotate it. Then I'll position it here. Then reduce the opacity. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Why I will drag this one down here. Then I'm going to pick my rectangle tool. Now draw a rectangle. Then bring your guideline here. Then rotate it vertical. Ensure that it is straight, then duplicate it. Then I'm going to double click to apply a color, something like this. Then I'm going to hold my control key while you click there, then turn it off. Then select this one, select your eraser tool, then you click yes. To rasterize it and I'm going to increase the brush size and clean it up something like this the control plus D to deselect then you can reduce this size all right now reduce the size a little bit then you position it wherever you want then on this one i'm going to apply a color overlay then i'm going to change this color then make it more okay this way i think this is okay for me then i will reduce the opacity then duplicate it and reduce the size why i will bring this one and position it around here now increase the opacity to 100 percent then you duplicate it ctrl plus j then i'm going to my color overlay why i will change the color of this one to white all right so this and this is the image i'm going to use then reduce the size of the image then yeah, this will be okay all right Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool and blend it over here. 
then go to filter go to image genomic then apply your port pressure cream go then to apply a smooth to the patient okay so now i'm going to bring in my test ctrl plus v to paste before i have already copied this one before so there is no need to copy it again what i've just do is to paste it then i'm going to change the font color to beba's new board then and now i'm going to increase the font size click ok then reduce the space now i'm going to rotate it this way increase it the way you want it to be you can also position it anywhere you want to position it I'm going to leave it here now what I'm going to do next is to duplicate the test then I'll drag this one below the test then reduce the fill color now I'm going to make the stroke for then make the position inside then I'm going to select this light green Then apply a shadow then the distance 3 the spread 4 and the size 7 then make the blending mode multiply then I'll click OK then also apply your draw shadow on this one Then now hold your control key while you click and link them together so you can see when you move it down the other one will move along with it then also draw a round shape rectangle here then apply this light green color select your tests Then I'm going to paste this one, then apply superscript, change the font to dark green, then you drag it up, now I'm going to increase the font size. Okay, select the test tool again, then I'm going to put in this test here and reduce size. Okay, now we move forward down. You can now remove the guideline. So, and I'm going to copy my test, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test to the Ctrl plus V to paste. Now apply white color, reduce the test size, and I'm going to break it down then you can break it the way you want it this is too short then I'm going to adjust it
they reduce the space. So it's not like this, okay. And I'm going to change this font here then to gracious indifference. So that is the name, the name of the fonts, Gracia Indifferences. Then reduce the font size. And I'm going to copy this shape here, Ultra Project to duplicate it. Then reduce the size. And I'm going to change the color. This one to red. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then go back to your color overlay. Then change this one to white. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then you go back again to your color overlay. Then why I'm going to change this one to this light green here. Okay. Then select the tree. Then I reduce the size. Something like this. Then draw this one back. Then I'm also going to drag this one back using my arrow key. Then go back to your test and I'm going to copy the name here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select the test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you bring it down. Increase the size. Also change the font to Grisha in the process and make it bold. Now select your rental go and draw a line below it. Something like this. Okay. Then apply adjustment to this. Then I'm going to duplicate this background here. Why I will drag this one on above the image. Then create a clipping mask to it and change the blending mode to color. So you can see the outcome of it. What I'm going to do now, I select the layer mask. Then I'm going to select the brush. Then apply a paint here. So I'm going to paint it so that the red will come out. So something like this. Then I'm going to group them one by one and rename it.
Yeah, what I'm going to do now, as you can see, I select my ellipse to, to draw a perfect circle. Then apply four to the size. Then I'm going to position it where exactly I'd like it to be. Okay. Then now select the test tool. So when you look closely, you will see a change there. So then I'm going to type something like this. Then apply this light green color. Then you can delete the ellipse tool. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Okay. So something like this, as you can see. So this is how you can make a round type in. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification so that you don't miss any of the video. Thank you so much.